Hola, yo soy Ana y hoy estamos en la terrena. Vamos a disfrutar de salto de limón. No, 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 no. Wey, 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 wey. Tranquila. Vámonos, Wito, vámonos. Tranquila, muchacha. No grite, hombre. Tranquila. Ok, te quito. Tranquila, vale. Mira, mira. Sí, ok. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how people did this for centuries, riding horses downhill, uphill, and all that stuff. That's wild. But anyways, guys, um, something I want to say: if you guys decide to come to the Cascadas de Limon, yeah. uh, it's a thousand pesos for the horse, mm -hmm. and then also a little, uh, each each time you go, you're gonna have a tour guide, yeah. and you give a little little tip. To yeah, the tour guy. Yeah. This guy, this guy, he, he, hold on, where, where are you uh, at? This is my name, Tony. Tony, yeah, if yeah. you, if you come here to uh, Cascada, you can yeah, ask yeah. for Tony. Yeah. <laughs> ask for Tony. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, guys, um, guys, I highly recommend this is a great excursion. Uh, really fun. Actually, I've, I've done it before, but, and it's definitely worth it because the pictures is really, uh, if the pictures that you can take at the waterfall. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's definitely a great experience uh, overall. And, and something I will say, though, if you're a single guy, I would say it's definitely a great plus one experience. If you have a chica that you like or that you know that you're, you're kind of feeling, I would highly recommend coming with her. Uh, even though she might be a little bit scared of riding the horse. Ana, tu, tu tienes miedo. <laughs> yeah, she might have, the girl might have a little bit of fear, but you know, it could be a great bonding experience. So, so yeah. Dime, Ana, es como, um, ¿tú recomendarías esta experiencia? Sí, claro, 100%. Mm, ok, sí, sí, ya. Yeah. Entonces, si tú eres un extranjero visitando las terrenas, o eres un dominicano, te deberías uh, 
tratar esta experiencia. Y claro dime, que sí. sí y qué, ¿Qué es tu parte favorito hasta ahora? A mí no. ¿Qué? Es mentira, es broma. <risa> <risa> Montarme oh. en el caballo. Oh, sí, es... Tenía mucho miedo al principio, pero ya no. ¿Tú has uh, hecho eso antes? No, es mi primera vez. Wow, ok. Yes. Ok, guys, let's, let's go, go ahead and get to this waterfall. Okay guys, so as you can see, the waterfall here is just, it's really amazing. It's very beautiful. Uh, now, I, some, something I will say is that, you know, the the water isn't, is you can say it's very plentiful. There's a lot of water coming down the waterfall. But sometimes if it's kind of a drier season, then, you know, there won't be as much water. Because actually, I, I've come, I came here, actually I did a video here before, uh, you know, maybe two years ago, something like that, and it wasn't as much. but. We're in the, it's the rainy season kind of right now, so that's why there's so much water and it looks really amazing. Uh, but guys, something that I wanted to talk about a little bit about, something, I don't want to say serious, but you know, something that, um, you know, guys, you know, it's almost the end of the year, and this might be the last video I produce um, this year. So, you know, and I, and I was, and I, as I was thinking about that, I was kind of thinking of like, you know, wow, it's 2023. Um, it's been a crazy year for me, personally. Like, uh, the first time I bought, um an apartment which was amazing I, it was a big a big blessing and I'm, I'm super thankful for it um also though the first time i went to jail i went to jail this year if you guys didn't know they didn't check out that video i did go to jail uh in the united states um so yeah so that happened you know and then and then there, and also there are a lot of other things in between that happened um that just you know so many you know so many blessings but also so many things that were kind of negative and you know it's you know it's just regular life goes up and down but you know I, you know the year's almost over and I and I think about where I was last year uh, around this time in, in November 2022 December 2022 uh, and to be honest with you guys I was feeling really really down I, I left Dominican Republic in November and one of the reasons I, I think the one of the reasons I said I left because I wanted to improve my editing which is true I, I did want to improve my editing but also because I really to be honest with you I lost a lot of confidence uh, in myself, in my channel, just in my capabilities to make videos. Uh, I lost a lot of confidence. Uh, and a lot of that had to do because in the summertime, my videos were really hot. Um, you know, a lot of, I was getting a lot of views and stuff like that. But then around last year, October, September, stuff like that, my views started to go down and I started to lose confidence of like, you know, can I, can I be a YouTuber? Can I make, can I be a content creator? And stuff like that. And it really had me, uh, it just had me shook, had me anxious had me, I don't want to say depressed, but I don't know if depressed is right the word, but you know, just, it had me feeling very down to the point where uh, I just couldn't, I, I just couldn't take it. So I, I left Dominican Republic, you know, to be honest with you. Um, and, you know, fortunately over time, you know, I was able to grow back my confidence. Uh, I'm not going to talk about, you know, how I grew back my confidence, but you know, that's, a, that's another video for another day, we'll say. But I was able to kind of grow back my confidence and decide, you know what, um, you know, you can stay here in the U.S. and just kind of do the regular thing. Which there's nothing wrong with regular. I want to be very clear. Nothing wrong with regular. But you can continue to kind of do this, or you can try to continue to pursue what you love, and kind of and can continue to pursue, you know, what um, I don't want to say God made me here for, but something that I really enjoy, something that I really love, which is you know making videos, creating content, and stuff like that. And so that's why, you know, like I said, I was just fortunate that I was able to kind of I able to come back to the Dominican Republic and continue to do what I'm doing today, which is making videos, sharing information, and doing all those things. And kind of, and one, and one of the things I wanted, to, and what, the reason I want to say that is because there are some guys who um, are questioning to themselves, you know, or they're questioning themselves that they're kind of tired with the everyday life. And I'm not saying that you need to do what I do, 
I would just, just live in Dominican Republic or live abroad. But if you're, you know, tired of the mundane, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling kind of depressed, um, I would just say travel, you know, just do it. If you're thinking about coming to Dominican Republic, if you're thinking about going to uh, Brazil or Colombia or whatever, I, I would say do it or, or Africa or Asia, wherever, wherever you want to go, wherever it's on your heart, I would just highly recommend do it because, you know, we only live once and, you know, traveling, traveling, uh, it's not going to change your problems. You know, that is not going to change it, but it can give you a new perspective. You know, it can give you a new angle on life. It can make you, uh, you know, I don't want to say get your mojo back, but it, it can give you some reju rejuvenation that you might need to continue to pursue your goals, to continue to pursue, you know, whatever it is that you want to do. Because I can say personally for me, that's that's definitely been uh, the case. So guys, uh, I'm not trying to get too preachy, but I just really, I just want to say, you know, if you're thinking about traveling, uh, you know, if you're feeling down, I, like I said, traveling is not going to change your problems but it can definitely give you a new perspective on life and help you continue to move forward. Welcome to some Ana. This was a una experiencia. Claro, es muy divertida. Sí, sí, eh. sí. Y dime, um, ¿cuál parte de esta experiencia fue tu favorita? La cascada. ¿La cascada? Sí. Eh, bueno, también los caballos, realmente. Tenía miedo, pero me encantó. Mm. Es muy bueno, lo recomiendo. Ok, ok, sí. interesante, interesante. Y dime, bueno, tú dices que la cascada fue tu favorito, parte favorita, pero tú no... Uh, entraste al agua no no entré al agua pero estás bonita pero es porque tú no puedes nadar eh, sí oh, ok oh, ok ok bueno bueno ya estás lista para para regresar claro ah bueno vamos vamos okay. Bueno, Ana, eso fue todo por esta experiencia con los caballos y cascada y todo. Y bueno, no, usualmente uh, tú y yo uh, hacemos videos en Puerto Plata, Sasua y esas cosas. Pero ahora está, estamos cerca de Las Terrenas. Y dime, ¿qué, qué piensas de... Uh, just generalmente, ¿qué piensas de Las Terrenas? Me gusta. Las veces que yo he venido, he venido en Semana Santa. Le he pasado bien. Me gusta. En general, todo. Mm, sí. Ok. <risa> está bien. Está bien. Y bueno, ¿tú puedes decir chao a la, a la gente? Bye. Sí, sí. Eh, ¿Qué vas a hacer ahora? ¿Ah, ¿Qué? ¿Qué vas a hacer oh, ahora? Oh, bueno, no sé. Yo, sé. yo tengo un poco um, cansado después de todo eso. ¿Y tú? Mm, también vamos a relajarnos. Es que es really hard en el apartamento. Claro. Ok, bueno, vamos, vamos. <laughs>